time you open Flash Print 5, you're going to be asked to choose what printer you have. And in this case, in this class, we have a Finder. So you choose Finder, you hit OK, it changes to a square. That's how you know that you've chosen the right one. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get whatever you designed, wherever you saved it, here. So look around. Which one of these things looks like a load button? There is View, Model File, Finder 4. This really doesn't tell us anything. So I'm going to choose this one, Model File. Yep, I don't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the outside. It says uh, Load File or Apple O. In your case, it could be Control O and look for your file. Now let's see if I have anything here that I can uh, downloads. All right, so Oasis, it's an STL, which tells me I just got this from Tinkercad. I'm gonna open it up and this thing is way bigger than, than the bed. As you can tell because it's a red cube, red meaning danger. This is not gonna print no matter what you do. So. Let's look over here at our options. Do we want to move it? Let's see. No, we don't want to move it. That doesn't really help us. Let's put it in the center. Okay, so do we want to rotate it? Not really, because it doesn't really do anything when we rotate it. I guess we could try this way, but then again, not really. Scale. Ah, scale. So I'm going to click and drag, and it becomes bigger or smaller depending on the direction I drag it in. So I'm going to drag some more. And I could control it this way. I could just say, hey, I want it to be this big. Okay. Now, I'm going to zoom in with my mouse by using the, the wheel there. There it is. Okay. What does this say? Cut. I don't want to do that. Duplicate. Do I want two of them? Let's see. Yeah, I don't really want two of them. Let me, let me just uh, click outside of it and control Z or command Z will we'll, uh, get rid of that. Auto layout. Hmm, don't really need that. Uh, but I do need supports. This thing cannot print in midair. So I've selected it and I'm gonna add supports to it. Personally, I don't like it to be this thick. So I'm gonna drop that down to five, four, and this one to two. Okay, now I'm gonna do auto supports. All right, that's not bad. I really don't like thick supports, but that'll be fine this time. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Am I done here? Wiping tower. No idea what that does. Multi-machine control, connect machine. I don't have a machine connected here, but I could do that first. Now, this is how you connect it to the Wi-Fi. This will be checking to see if your computer is connected to a uh, 3D printer. If it is, it would show up here. You would select it and then connect. In this case, we are done. All we want to do is start slicing. That means now we want it to get ready to print. So start slicing is the next thing. These will not change in this class. We want standard. If you want to just try something fast, you just want to see if it'll fit something, this is the one to choose. Fine is if you actually want it to be really good. And standard's okay. So let's, let's go ahead and slice it. Do I want to add anything? Now a raft means I wanted something at the bottom to hold it in place. A brim is something to hold it on the, in place on the outside only and ignores what we're going to do since this thing is going to act like a raft anyways. All right, it is now, it is now ready to print. So here are your choices. Local save. You could save it to a USB drive to, to go take it to a printer or you can send it to a printer if your computer is connected to a printer. So here I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to expand this so I can see where I'm saving it. Downloads, it's Oasis. I'm going to call this Oasis uh, Part 2 because naming something is really important. It's going to go to download. It's a GX file, excuse me, and we're set. That is how you do it. Now if you save it to your USB drive, you want to eject that and go take it to the printer and plug it in on the side, on the right side of your printer and start printing after you choose your your options. It's going to be print, USB, and then choose the file name. 
That's it.